how do I get to know that this is the one? That's a big, huge, we don't date as Muslims. We don't live with each other for a year before we get married. How would I know that this is the right one? The answer for this is simple. There is many things you can do to find out if this is the one. Number one, make sure that you know exactly what you want on the person. So it, it really, this is in my opinion, 50% of the solution. That you know exactly what you want. Because if you start looking into the proposal, while it's vague in your head, you're not going to be able to verify. And I said, be specific, understanding the, 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 the complexity of these issues when you talk about religion, character traits, what exactly, and each one of them has different levels, and all these things that we discussed before. Then you look at the person. These are tips that might help you. One of the clear signs of having taqwa or good character, having righteous and good friends. You know, show me who you hang out with, I will tell you who you are. It is important, simple and important, which is, tell me who you hang out with, I'll tell you who you are. You will be in the same lifestyle of those who you uh, are in their company. As the Prophet ﷺ said, المرؤ على دين خليلي. So if you hang out with people who are a bunch of losers and you know, uh, drug addict and, uh, and, and people who have no ambitions in life, most likely you are like one of them. If you she hang out with girls who have no goals in life, nothing, no importance, they contribute zero, most likely she is similar to them. If she is going with girls who are like party day and night, or a guy who go with guys who are clubbing, you know, or girls clubbing all the time, most likely they are the same. If he hang out with people, go to the master, go to classes, go to contribute, like to volunteers, people who are care about education, take about care about community, society, work, big goals in life, it's a similar thing. Most likely they are. So one of the things that will help you a lot to determine if that's the right person, or, because always when you get married to someone, they show you the best. You don't want to be deceived by that. You want to make sure that this who they are really. Another one. How does he or she spend their free time? That tells you a lot about person. You can tell a lot about person by asking him, what do you do in your free time? Just to enjoy the answer. You can tell a lot. Okay, another thing, high standards. Is this person has high standards in life or no? Or low standards in any, in any aspects of their life? Another one, accomplishments and achievements in life. I remember a father told me to represent him uh, when his daughter, we were at an event and the father was far away and he said, Sheikh, there is this guy who wants to meet my daughter. Can you please be there with her? I said, okay. So the brother, who one of my students too, and the sister is one of my students, and now her father asked me to represent her in this meeting. They talk, they talk. Then I said to her, as a sister, uh, she said, yes. I said, uh, you guys graduated from college. What kind of like uh, achievement that you have achieved in your life in college days? Like, then she said, oh, she, you know, I was, I ran for an MSA president and I became the MSA president. I was the MSA president because both were MSA presidents in different universities. She said, I had a goal of establishing one, two, three. I was able to do it in first year, and I was able to change this, to do that. And she listed five things, boom, one minute, done. Then his turn, I said, okay, what about you as an MSA? What did you achieve? He said, oh, it was one of my best days. You know, and alhamdulillah, we were able to accomplish a lot. And, you know, uh, we talked a lot about things and how can we change and all the things that it must be done. And, uh, you know, it was really great experience. And I'm so happy that Allah gave me the opportunity to help. And, you know, uh, it's really such a challenge. And oh, for another like five minutes. Not a single solid point. And I'm 
looked at her, I looked at him, and I said, okay, just something to keep in mind. It really was very bad, it looked very bad on him that he does not have a clarity of what he wants. That's character. There's some people just talker, just they're good heart. They love to talk a lot, but they don't accomplish. So if you're thinking you marry someone who will be accomplishing things so fast in their financial life or whatever, you're talking to a guy who like just to just dreamer, you know, like to talk more than do things. If you're looking for a doer, go get it kind of guy, uh-uh, that doesn't seem to be him. If you're looking for a girl who's good, do it, girl, get it done. She looks like the same, the girl that you're looking for. So ask, just look at the achievement, what they have done in all their life. Another one helps a lot to know the person, ask them to meet the parents. If they're serious, do it immediately. I don't think anyone refused to meet the parents from the first early stage as someone that you should not continue in your relationship with. You want to know me? Come through the door. Don't go through the windows. You come talk to my parents. That's a very good way to find out if the guy is serious or not. Another way to find if this is the right person or not, the engagement period. When you get engaged to someone, there is a period called engagement. You get to know the person. You get to meet the person. You get to have conversation with the person more. So it's not It's not like, okay, I found a guy, marry him tomorrow, we, oops, we just move in together. It's not like that. Also, there's a period of time. Also, after the engagement, there's a contract, the marriage contract. And when you make the contract, you know, there is another period until the consummation of the marriage. And that's a period also to get to know the person. How long the engagement should be? How long the contract period should be before we consummate the marriage? First of all, if you do the contract, that's a very, 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 very advanced step. Okay? So, uh, but before that, the engagement or the talking period, I'll tell you, if you see a lot of red flags, if there's a lot of mysterious things about this person, just gab about the person. Things that, you know, I don't understand. There's this, some missing gaps in this person's life. Things doesn't add up. Things confusing. I'm not sure. Prolong the period of engagement. Make it longer the period of get to know each other. Everything you check quickly, you can go, you know, as short as three months or two months and, and get married. If checks. And real check. But if there's things doesn't check and there's a lot of like or many red flags coming out, no, take your time. Don't make it too long to, a year or two years just hanging like that, no decision, no. And because you don't want this, this can have very negative impact on you. One thing that will help you to find the person as well is to have, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open your heart, to open your mind. And please, I want to make sure that this is important. You cannot just rely on dua by itself. You have to take the necessary means as well. Istikhara is not everything. A guy told me, Sheikh, I'm tired. I proposed to 20 girls. I said, okay. He said, I didn't. I said, what happened? 20 girls? Oh, mashallah, you're lucky to have a 20 girls that you find to propose to in your community. Why didn't none of them you like? He said, I like many of them. I said, okay, so why? I thought the guy has a problem making decisions and hesitant and stuff like that. You know, what is the problem? The problem is that everyone, I like her everything. I pray istikhara. And after I pray istikhara, I feel nothing. So I let her go. He's serious. I said, Sheikh, what do you think? <laughs> I think, I think you should have talked to me a long time ago. I said, who told you that? What are you waiting? Like next day you see a billboard say, Go for it, sign God. And you, what, are you, what, are you, what are you waiting for? Jibreel come to you in your manam and your, in your sleep and said, good, go for it. No. That's, nobody ever said Salat is connecting to anything 
a sign or anything like that. Ulama rahimahullah said that's a dua. You ask Allah to bless your choice. A lot of people have this misconception of istikhara, thinking istikhara is about Allah choosing for you. No, I hate to break it for you, my friend. Istikhara is not Allah choosing for you. You choose for yourself according to the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the will of Allah. But you make the choice. Because if Allah makes the choice for you, that means you cannot bear the responsibility of your actions. But you do because you make the choice. But what you pray that Allah bless your choice. Allah shows you, subhanahu wa ta'ala, how to make the right choice.